Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today, we're reviewing another one of these Fago drinks and this one is gonna be on the grape flavor. So I got this particular can out of the website, uh, United States of Candy. They're an English website or English business, so I say, that sells American products and stuff. So go ahead and check out. There's loads of different stuff on there to have a look at. And it cost me £1.39. So anyways, as I said, as this is on the great favour, we'll uh, compare what I think that would to be like in a second. But first of all, let's give you guys a full 360 of the can. So we have the front of the can repeated twice, as you can see, just pretty simple, just literally repeated twice. Uh, and then we have the nutritional facts on the back rather than information because obviously it is American. Now we have most of the can in this purple. And to be fair, it's actually quite nice colours. There's quite a few different shades of purple on there. There's some shiny purple down there, a bit darker there, lighter at the top. So yeah, it's got a nice load of purples and it kind of matches my bag light, although you can't see it too much because it's the middle of the day with my blind clothes, but it lets them some light. <laughs> um, we've obviously got some picture of grapes on there. The Fago kind of logo and stuff, which is in a slanted kind of style, standard white. But the grape with an exclamation mark in yellow. I said there's nutritional facts on the back. Standard on the bottom and everything on the top is all standard and silver, including the pull ring as well. Second, so uh, taking a close look at the cam, it does say genuine at the top there. So I don't know what it means by that because I don't know why it wouldn't be genuine, but there you go. And it's got delicious as in D-E-E -E, and then licious, which is uh, quite funny. Can't really see it too much. You can just about see it there on light, delicious. Naturally and artificially flavored, uh, naturally caffeine free. And it's 355 milliliter cam. So anyways, taking a close look at the nutritional facts. So these are quite sugary, uh, really quite sugary. And this one contains total sugars, 41 grams of sugar, which is a lot. I think the American Fantas are even more than that. But yeah, 41 grams of sugar, that is quite a bit for a small can. But you know what? It's typical American soda at its best. Anyways, apart from that, uh, ingredients, of course, we have the famous American high fructose corn syrup. But apart from that, there's just other stuff on there that really isn't of interest. Red 40, blue one. Yeah. Weird, weird numbers. Anyways, <laughs> that's literally on the can. There's nothing else in there, so there's no caffeine in it. So um, we'll just, we'll uh, get straight into it. So, grape. Well, obviously this will be a little bit different to grape juice as such. Now, I don't mind grape juice kind of over here. It's not really a thing we drink a lot of in England. Um, you, you can buy the still grape juice drink out of the cartons. And I do like grapes as a fruit. You know, I like the green and the red and the grapes. Uh, obviously this is American, so it's gonna be super sweet, super sickly and super sugary. So it's probably gonna be just way over the top and not like anything we'd expect to drink over here in England, um, you know, cause it's American soda. So it's gonna be over the top. So, hey viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favourites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks guys. We'll find out in a second how just over the top it is. So anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So I'm guessing the colour is going to be purple i'm assuming um could be wrong but i'm guessing it's gonna be purple but um yes hopefully no explosions there we go right and the color is whoa look at that it's literally like a freaking potion look at that good old american artificial coloring look at the color of that i know it looks pretty much black on camera but that's actually a really, really nice deep purple color. Wow, that is really, really nice up to my light. It, it looks black on camera, so yeah. I just, <laughs> but it is really dark purple, really dark, but definitely is purple. So it's non-see-through as you can see, as you can't see my face through the drink. There is not too much fizz on the top there, and there's a fair few bubbles on the side of the top, but the bottom there's not many, but for the most part, yes, it is a super dark purple color. That literally looks like a potion pouring out, doesn't it? Anyway, let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of. Oh, wow. Yeah, it smells really, it just smells really sweet. It just, it, it just, it smells of, it's literally shouting to me, I have tons of sugar. It literally just smells like that. And it's got that really artificial grape smell, like some of these American drinks have got, the artificial grape smell, which, which, 
I guess not everyone will have know what the artificial grape smell taint, uh, smells like, but if you have smell it, then this is just like that. Ah, artificial grape smell. <laughs> Anyways, guys, nevertheless, let's taste some. Oh my god, that is so syrupy. It's, oh, these drinks are so syrupy, it's unbelievable. Oh my god, honestly. God, honestly, how do they drink this stuff on a daily basis? It's just oh, way over the top. So yeah, for my initial reaction, it is, yes, it's super syrupy and super sickly, honestly. Somewhat, sometimes I think these are worse than the American Fantas. I honestly think the American Fantas, like the American Can Fantas, are one of the worst, superiest and sugariest drinks you can buy in America. But, I mean, next to probably Mountain Dew or something like that out there, the, the real stuff. But in terms of these kind of drinks, that is just incredibly over the top. So, yes, it is super syrupy. Honestly, you drink it and you're just getting a load of syrup really syrupiness and the sugar is so incredibly sweet that will probably turn quite a few people off in terms of how strong that is now there is quite a lot of great flavor there to be honest but i just think the sugar and the rest of it is just helping back up that grape flavor overall which to be honest really isn't great because like i said you don't really want to drink all that sugar and have all that syrup on a daily basis it's so much sugar you shouldn't really be drinking that in such a small can like this so you know it's it's just over the top simple as it's just way over the top it doesn't taste disgusting you know or anything like that it's just it's just over the top and that's that it's just a super sick sickly super sugary grape flavor and i said the grape flavor is there it's strong but it's backed up by the sugar so it probably isn't a true representation of what the actually grape flavor is because you know if we try a sugar-free grape drink here in england which there isn't many to be honest almost none uh also say the grape juice you get out of the carton you know that because it hasn't got the added syrup that this has and no artificially added sugar you know you're actually getting a more of a fruit grape taste rather than this artificial sugar grape flavor basically so <laughs> yeah just way over the top um i will not be drinking the rest of that just because of how much sugar is in it um, i know it's a waste but like i said it's to review and to try so it really doesn't bother me cool and it is it i mean i like strong stuff you know i do like a good strong drink but these are just on these drinks and the family they're just they're next level they really are just way over the top honestly god blimey and then there's the thing that badland chugs drinks like bringing 10 of them in the 10 of them in a minute god blimey anyways so i think for them reasons i think i'll give the drink a thumbs down because like i say it's too sugary too syrupy too over the top you wouldn't drink on a daily basis you don't want to drink all that sugar so for them reasons it gets a thumbs down but I said overall as a drink itself yeah it's just not great it's just over the top so just avoid based on those reasons but anyway let me know in the comments if you have tried the fago grape but um yeah i think i'll stay stick to the nice grape fruit juice for the time being so anyways viewers as always don't forget to check that description below you can follow me on tiktok instagram or twitter or if you want to support the channel you can check out my patreon minimum support is one pound and that go towards new drinks which means new videos for the channel so as always I will see you all later.